Hello? Yeah, hey, is is someone in trouble? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I'm, I'm jumping in the game right now. Yeah, next time text me, you weirdo. Yeah, love you too, Mom. Bye. This game is bullshit. Welcome to Code 5 Art. Today is a how-to video on how to do stencils properly. Uh, throughout this video, I'm going to show you how to take a picture off the internet, how to break down this picture into multiple stencils, and be able to use many different colors and different ways to print up the same image over and over again and to spray, spray paint as many uh, of these images as you want onto the wall. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you how to properly do this. And I will do a bunch of these Among Us crewmates today. Also, today I'll have a contest. In the making of this video, I made a mistake when I was doing my stencils. And as an artist, you always notice your own mistakes and I can never unsee it. So the contest today is the first two people to make a comment below and state and tell me which mistake I made. I will have a dedicated video to do a graffiti tag of your name, but you have to be the first two to comment on where I messed up in the in the final mural. So let's dive into it. We take our image from the internet, we put it right here, and the very first step we want to do is to cut it up and uh, not like that. Well, we want okay. Let's start over. Let's start over. We take our image from the internet right here, and we separate the colors into what stencils we're going to be using. I'm going to be using four different stencils. I'm going to have the, the background, I'm going to have the goggles, and right here is going to be the, the shadow effect. I've got some transparent black paint somewhere. Transparent black paint, which will make whatever paint in the background turn darker. So, and the last, the last but the most important stencil is going to be the outline. The outline is going to keep everything together and as you can see in the next step it also shows you how to use the outline to structure the entire set of stencils the the outline is going to sit there and guide you uh into how you cut the stencils that go after it so this first part i'm just basically trying to get the drawing onto the cardboard so i just use the ruler just to kind of get the same proportions about how wide he is and how tall he is and mark where I think his goggles are. And from there, I can just kind of freehand like the actual, the actual character. I don't have to do everything perfect, but I do have to get the lines in there so I know where to start cutting. Okay, this is perfect. Now that I have the outline, I can use that to trace to see where the rest of the stencils will lie. Now you can't really see it that well in this video, but when I drew the lines, I kind of cut a little bit further out uh, than where the actual pencil marks were. And there's a reason behind that. So if I can have it expand a little bit past where the outline is, then I know that the that I'm allowing the paint and the layers to have room to breathe, that they can overlap with each other. And I'll show you later on in the video that when you do that, that way you don't give any background any chance to come on through. You want a little bit of overlap between each stencil.
sweet now. I just need to get the, the background, the board all painted up and primed up and get the stencils back out. All right, let's do this. Final touch. This is perfect because as you can see, you can see some of the blue and the red. That means I have overlap so that I won't have any white space. So I don't have any background showing through. Boom. All right, so I was gonna be done yesterday, but I was thinking that it was so easy and fast to do four of these. I think I'm gonna make them some friends. I'm gonna put a bunch more up, rush on through and see how it all looks until the end. All right, enjoy. That's it, it's all done. If you like what you see here, just like and subscribe and I'll keep on doing stuff like this. Let me know down below if there's if you wanna see more stencils, but this is a fun project. Let's check out the final piece.